So this is an infrared video back from 2019, one of the first anomalous things that I captured. Um, so this is at night, that's the moon, top right, and you can see this object rolling in and out, like, like swooping into the atmosphere magnetically in an orbit. I mean, you can see texture, surface details, and I've captured this object a few times before, actually. Um, it's not just one particular object. There's, there's several of them. They're very fast moving. And they're coming down in the atmosphere. So here's two of them right here. This was a few days, a few nights later. You can see two of them. It's almost like they're they're bouncing up against an invisible barrier. You know, like they're trying to get through it, but they can't. You know, kind of like you would imagine. You know, magnetic objects being attracted to Earth, but being repelled by the magnetosphere kind of thing. And if you notice, every time it's hitting that invisible shield, the moon flickers. You know, almost like, almost like it's hitting the moon, but. And you have things like that, you know, that I captured during the day. I actually spent a few weeks trying to capture that thing. I saw it once, and it would it would basically come in with these these storms or these these systems, and it would follow kind of like these magnetic pathways. Uh, <laughs> it's a good video. This is me actually messing messing with them, um, raising the IR lights, getting bright turning them down, turning them up, catching their attention. You see how big they are. Things a monster. That was actually on my um, $400 Amcrest security camera, which is now dead. It's got the highest resolution out of all my cameras. I could pan, tilt, zoom. But it usually doesn't pick up the orbs in swarms, but I got a few videos on here where it does. You see how that one, it kind of stopped, checked out the camera. The infrared light um, affects them somehow. It's like they, they get charged up when they hit it. See, he's like, oh, what's that? A bright light. I mean, they definitely act like they're alive. Playful. Like this little thing from the storm cloud. You see it coming up from the bottom. It's like zigzagging. It's wandering around. Doesn't know which way to go. That's how these things move. <laughs> I mean... It's so strange. And then here's some close-up, extremely slowed-down videos of... Um, one of the more interesting events that happened at night. This one's 2020, but the orbs change. They, depending on the environment, I don't know the electrical energy coming in from the sun or, or what, but they change from just solid orbs to um, you know shooting around real fast, to floating around real slow, to doing this, to where they're actually doing stuff. You know, shooting webs. You know, like they're flying around trying to catch stuff, you know, it's, they have little bars, shoot little webs, they'll split into two, the orbs will change into bars, um, see they're shooting webs right there, it's like they're trying to catch the IR energy or something, <laughs> I don't know, but they're slinging these webs and you watch them, they actually, here coming up, one of them, it actually tries to gulp down something, I mean, it's like, like that right there, see it? <laughs> it's like maybe they are some kind of higher dimensional creature. But then you get the swarms like this. You know, these beautiful, silky, mesmerizing flows. You know, it's like an anti-gravity washing machine. 
but the way it dances is it's hypnotizing. But then you get swarms coming up, I think in the next video, where it's just shooting out of the ground like a fire hose. You know, the very end of this video has got a killer capture. One of the best, I think, I've ever captured. It's pretty damn weird. I'll let you, I'll let you watch it, but... You see, this is a different video of the orbs, and you'll see they actually have little dark nucleuses in this one. Uh, some of them actually have two. But as they move around, they'll kind of go from a solid orb to like a crescent, like a Pac-Man. You know, almost like they're two-dimensional. Uh, you, you can't get smoke or dust to float around like this stuff does. You know, the rain is coming straight down. These things, they flow. They flow out of the ground. Just like they were saying, new particles coming out of the ground or coming out of the earth in Antarctica. It's got to be something similar. But, see, two of them right there. It's like, what the fuck are those things? It's like, what equipment do you use to test and do experiments on these things? As far as I know, you can only really see them in infrared here anyway, like this. And then infrared light can influence them. And they're not physical. That's about as far as I can go with what I have. I even set up a string one day to show, you know, everybody online that they're non-physical. As fast as it's flowing right there, that string is not moving a bit. There's no weight on the bottom of it. You can see it's bent. It's just like a, a marking string that you get at Home Depot. Now I stuck electromagnets up there. Didn't didn't affect them. But here, right there, there's a flow coming out of the ground in the usual spot in my backyard. And see how it comes up and it just floats back down? I mean, that is a, that's a motion you just don't see anywhere but like in water or space. It's like a sprinkler, you know, freaking shooting it straight out of the ground. fact that you can see those flows that far away, you know, from right there in front of the camera to, you know, way out there. I mean, they set off my motion. My motion sensors go off every time these things swarm. I mean, see how far away I'm able to see these things, you know, moving away in these big swarms. You know, that's pretty damn far. You can't see dust, you know, that clearly that far away. And, you know, dust and everything doesn't shoot out of the ground either. Like where are they coming from? And see, you got a swarm behind them, swarm in front of them. They come right at the camera, go straight through the camera. Stuff's just mesmerizing. It's just interesting. I'll sit up and watch these. Watch these up freaking all night long. They're just so different each time. It's always something new. But I mean, if those that group of orbs wasn't there right now, it, there would be no illumination on camera. It would be completely black. See how it goes dark? They light up the camera. They reflect the light somehow. It's shooting out of the ground again. And that's literally right behind my bedroom. So I'm not exactly sure what that means for me. Let's hope they're not harmful. I kind of suck. Alright, I think this is the this is the freaking awesome one. 
never before seen anything do what these things are about to do. There's nothing that anybody really has to compare to these things. So you basically just have to build context by watching. They completely disappears. Now here comes the big one. I mean, just look at that. It's like a freaking... And it's like getting sucked up into the sky. It's like something you would see in a blockbuster movie, not just randomly on a freaking security camera in your backyard. I mean, they're getting like sucked up in a, I mean, it's like a big freaking group just pulled up together and they fall back down. I mean, explain that science, please. I want answers. think. It's pretty awesome though, either way.